This is a demonstration and application of the concepts of the video on the fundamentals of drawing part 1. If you haven't watched that, check that out first and come back here for the demo. In this demonstration, we're still going to focus on the construction of form. So no rendering, just lines and shapes. Just the basics. Let's take a moment to look at the photo before beginning to draw. Ask yourself, where's the eye level? Where's the midpoint of the entire composition? How wide will the entire drawing be compared to its length? What forms do you see? What elements in the picture can you use as markers to figure out the alignment of objects? How tall are the cups compared to the bottle? How tall is the cement block compared to the bottle? After doing that, let's begin. Here I'm marking out the boundaries of my drawing, marking the width, and then eventually marking the height of the drawing. Just planning out the dimensions of the entire still life. So to start, I've identified the eye level of the picture somewhere on the edge of the cup because its ellipse looks almost like a straight line. Now I'm marking the general placement of the bottle which is the major element in this composition. I also sketched out the width of the entire composition and marked out my midpoint so I know what parts of the drawing will hit that marker. Here I'm figuring out the angles. I'm looking at the tip of the bottle and looking at the angle that connects or looking at the angle that connects one part to the other. I'm also measuring the proportions of the various objects in the picture in relation to each other and the entire composition. If you measure the objects, you'll see that the cup is about as tall as the cement block. The wine bottle, on the other hand, has a length which is three times that of its height. So things like that you have to probe and figure out as you develop a drawing based on a model or a reference. So although you can't see it in the video, I'm using sighting techniques. I'm using my pencil to gauge the angle between the edges of the cup and the tip of the bottle, the edges of the wine glass and the tip of the bottle. Here I am marking down the general shape of the cup. The cup is a rectangle sort of with an ellipse at the bottom so I'm marking that. Using the sighting techniques I measured how tall the cup is compared to the cement block underneath and I'm marking that on my drawing. So at the start of the drawing, I'm just trying to figure out the measurements of the various elements, marking down the various parts, figuring out alignments. So I'm figuring out the length of uh, the cement block or how far one corner is to the other, figuring out the angle of the block. I'm sketching the bottle. I've established the midpoint of the bottle so I can check for symmetry.
plotting out the ellipses of the bottle. I'm drawing these ellipses as drawn through forms or I'm drawing them as if the forms were transparent and you can see through the other side. The label of the bottle is a um, good marker. If you look carefully, one corner of the label aligns with the edge of the cement block. So sketching these elements out, you just have to find the relationships between the objects. Finding markers that you can use to figure out alignments, to figure out distances between these objects, and sketching them out accordingly. Right now I'm drawing this composition on a flat surface and I'm afraid sometimes that there might be a bit of distortion as I'm drawing this because I'm not actually looking at it directly because the camera is videoing the process and I'm keeping my head out of the way so uh, the camera doesn't catch a part of my head. Looking at the drawing now, I have to point out that I made the top ellipse of the bottle a bit too curved. So I inadvertently created a bit of distortion on the bottle. So my bad, sorry. Okay, time to clean this up. <laughs> 